Pat with Pat's Two Cents. This is, oh, this was a wonderful Saturday at the 24th Annual Venice Beach Gospel Crusade Rally. We reached out to many souls and it was a beautiful event. Listen to all the speakers, all the music. Don't miss out. There were some phenomenal testimonies. Right Look at God's beautiful creation, y'all. Oh, my God. This is what your love has done. And amazing grace, your love remains. Your blood washed every stain. We stand in awe of you, oh, amazing grace, your love remains, your blood washed every stain, amazing love indescribable, we stand in We stand in awe of you, yeah. Love lifted me up. Love lifted me up. Love lifted me up. Love lifted me up. Jesus! 
so loved the world that he gave me this one and only son. Who are you that God put so much special attention into you? And I want you to know, little boy that said, I want to be a fireman. Little girl that said, I want to be a nurse. Another child that said, I want to be a teacher. God wants you to know that when he made you, he gave you everything you need. He put in you everything you need to be a success right now. Now, I don't know what you did with it, but God never uninstalled any of it. Everything he gave you to be a success. Your heart pumps 200 gallons of blood per day. Your heart is beating 60 to 80 times per minute. 4,800 times in one hour. By the way, I'm straight out of watts. Okay. Your heart beats 1,500 times a day. In one year, your heart beats 42 million, 48,000 times in a year. That's what God did to make you successful. The Bible said you are wondrously made. You are not nobody. You are bigger than that. You're better than that. You're greater than that. God has given you everything to start being success. You need to stop going towards your weakness and start going towards your strength. You need to declare, I will not take this mess anymore. That's right. It does no good for nobody to pray for you. Some of you all have been the more counselors and then kept God pork and beans. It is time for you to say, I am not going to live in the low life anymore. That's right. God has made me wonderful. Yeah. And as I conclude, I want you to know this, that God has put everything in you to be successful and he has never uninstalled he has never taken out one thing that's in you. And the choice is yours. You can make a choice right now that I'm going to change my life. God will give you the power if you would just only turn to him and say, Lord, Lord. I won't do this anymore. God bless you. You know, your children are going to follow your path. Porque están mirando lo que tú estás haciendo. Because they're looking at what you're doing. Y mañana vas a decir. And tomorrow you're going to say. ¿Por qué mi hijo es borracho? How come my son is a drunk? ¿Por qué mi hija es prostituta? How come my daughter is a prostitute? ¿Por qué están usando drogas? Why are they, Why are they using drugs? drugs? Si eso es lo que están viendo en nuestros hogares. Is that what they're seeing in our home? Por eso, mi amigo. That's why my friend Instruye a tus hijos desde pequeño. instruct your children from they were small Para que cuando ellos crezcan, so once they grow up no se pierdan. they will they not be lose lost Yo sé que de ustedes se perdieron. I know that a lot of you have been uh, lost, lost. ¿Y sabes por qué? and you know why? why? Porque se dejaron llevar por las garras del enemigo. Because you allowed the enemy to take you away. Y right. muchos de ustedes se separaron de las cosas de Dios. And many of you departed from the things of God. Porque no le creyeron a Dios. Because you didn't believe. believe. Está como el pueblo de Israel. You were like the people of Israel. Que lo sacó del de, de lugar de Egipto, lo sacó. That he brought him out from Egypt. Y después comenzaron a pedir, a exigir a Dios. And then they started to demand God. ¿Será Dios que nos puede dar carne? Is it possible that God could give us meat? ¿Será Dios que nos puede dar la mejor comida, el mejor caviar? It is possible that God could give us the best caviar? El pueblo viendo tantas maravillas de Dios. The people seeing a lot of marvelous things from God. Tantas cosas que pasaron, los miraron con sus ojos. A lot of things that happened that they were able to see with their Pero eyes. Pero ahora estaban, eh, estaban desconfiando de Dios. But I'll at the last minute, they were not...
Trust in God. Recuerda, mi amigo. Remember, my friend. Dios te está llamando. God is calling you. Y yo sé que tú hiciste una promesa con Dios. And I know that you made a promise with God. Ha de haber sido en la cárcel. He probably was it while you were in jail. O ha de haber sido en el hospital. Or probably at the hospital. O ha de haber sido cuando no tenías nada. Or probably when you did not have anything. Pero hiciste un trato con Dios. But you made a deal with God. Pero este es el momento que Dios te está llamando. But this is the moment that the Lord is calling. Para que te pongas a cuentas con él. So you could come to an account with him. Por eso yo no te voy a llamar. I'm not gonna call you. El que te va a llamar es él. The one who's gonna call you is him. Si él te está llamando. If he's calling you. Obedece. Obey. Antes de que sea demasiado tarde. Before it's too late. Antes de que sea demasiado tarde. Before it's too late. Él tiene algo especial para ti. He has something special for you. No quiere que te pierdas. He doesn't want, want you for you to lost. perish. Lo que pasó con Agar. What happened with Agar? Desconfió de Dios. She didn't trust God. Se le olvidó la promesa que había para Agar. She forgot the promise that God had for her. De repente se le apareció un ángel Agar. All of a sudden, an agent appeared to Agar. Y le dijo, no te preocupes. And she, he told her, do not worry. Abre este agujero y saca agua y dale de beber a tu hijo. Open this, dig this hole and get water so that your son could drink. Entonces, hermano, le cambió la cara. Then her facial expression was changed. Porque no iban a morir ninguno de los dos. Because none of them were gonna die. Porque había promesa en ellos. Because there was a promise in them. Y sabes qué, mi hermano? And you know what, my brother? Hay alguien que está doblando las rodillas por ti. There's somebody that is praying for you. Para que tú cambies. So that you could change. Para que tú te acerques. So that you could get close. Yo no sé por qué me va mal. I don't know why everything goes wrong. No with tengo me. trabajo. I do not have a job. No tengo donde dormir. I don't have a place to sleep. No tengo nada que dar. I don't have nothing to give. Y lo único que quiero es suicidarme. And the only thing I want is to commit suicide. suicide. Eso es lo que te dijo el diablo, mi hermano. That's what the devil told you. Que el Señor right. lo reprenda. May the Lord rebuke him. Pero right. sabes lo que dice el Señor? But you know what the Lord says? Tú eres mi hijo amado. You're my beloved son. Y a ti te voy a levantar. And I'm going to raise you up. Y todo lo que el diablo te quitó. And everything that the devil has taken Yo te lo voy a devolver. I'm going to give it back to you. Ahora levántate en el nombre de Jesús. Now raise up in the name of Jesus. Levántate en el nombre de Jesús. Raise up in the name of Jesus. Ya no voltees para atrás. Do not go back. No voltees para atrás. Do not go back. Porque si volteas para atrás, because if you go back, te vas a caer. You're gonna fall. Voltea para adelante que viene el rey de reyes. Face up and see that the king of kings is coming. Y no importa que no tengas dinero y no tengas a nadie en la casa. Doesn't matter that you do not have money or anybody next to you. ¿Qué importa que lo hayas perdido todo? Doesn't matter if you have lost everything. Si tienes a Cristo lo tienes todo, mi hermano. If you have Christ, you have everything, my brother. El problema de nosotros es que nos hemos vuelto religiosos. Our problem is that we have become so religious. Creemos en Dios. We believe in God. Pero no lo servimos a Dios. But we do not serve God. Creemos en Dios. We believe in God. Pero no estamos haciendo nada por él. But we're not doing anything for Mientras him. Mientras la gente se está perdiendo, while people are being getting lost. lost, ¿qué tú estás haciendo? What, What are, are you, you doing? doing? Estás haciendo programas para entretener a la gente. Are you doing programs to entertain people? Estás haciendo eventos para entretener al mundo. Are you making events to entertain the world? ¿Quién va a predicar a ellos? Who's gonna preach to them? Nosotros. We are. Nosotros. We are. Nosotros le vamos a. We are gonna hermano. preach to them, my Porque brother. Porque el Señor tiene un remanente fiel para los tiempos finales. Because the Lord has some people for the end of times. Por eso, mi hermano. That's why, my brother. Has dejado tus hijos. Have you left your children? Has perdido tu hogar. You have lost your home. ¿Qué más quieres perder? What else, What else are, you do, are you willing to lose? Por eso yo te voy a llamar en este momento. That's why I'm gonna call you at this moment. Hay hijos que están viviendo solos. There are children that they living by themselves. Right. Solamente a la par de mamá. Only next to mom. Solamente a la par de papá. Only no. next to dad. Pero no está papá, no está mamá a la par. But mom or dad is, is not next to them. ¿Y sabes? And you know? Están, te están esperando. They're waiting. They're waiting. Te están esperando. They're waiting, waiting. for you. Una vez, mi hermano, quiero compartir y con esto termino. I want to share this with you and I will end with this. Una vez traje a mis hijos aquí a, a la playa. I brought my kids here to, to the, the beach. beach. Y los puse a los dos. And I put the two of them. En la orilla del mar. Right next to the water. Entonces llegó una ola. 
Then a wave came. Y la ola me tumbó los dos. And the wave he took the two kids away. Y cuando y cuando los miro a los dos volteados de boca abajo tomando agua. And when I seen them turning down drinking water. Dije, ¿a quién levanto? He asked himself, who am I going to pick up? Al más pequeñito que tenía un año y medio. The smallest one who was one, one and a half years old. O a la niña que tenía tres años y medio. Or the girl who was, was three and a half years, years old. ¿A quién levantaría usted, mi hermano, de los dos? Which one would you pick up first? Mientras usted children? lo está pensando, ya se le ahogaron. While you're thinking about it, they will both drown. En las right. cosas de Dios es diferente. In the things of God things are different. Porque para levantar a nuestros hijos, in order to raise our children, primero quiere levantar a papá y primero quiere levantar a mamá. First he wants to raise mom and dad. Right. ¿Por qué? Why? Porque sus hijos están ahogando. Because your children are drowning. Porque sus hijos están perdiendo. Because your children are being getting lost. Y primero te quiere levantar a ti, papá. First he wants to raise you, dad. Primero te quiere levantar a ti. First he wants to raise you up. Para que tú levantes los que vienen detrás de ti. So you can raise the one that are coming behind you. Tienes que ser Woo. levantado primeramente tú. You have to be raised up first. Si right. me están entendiendo. Are you understanding? Denle un aplauso al Señor si me están entendiendo. Denle un aplauso if you're understanding. Yeah. Amen. Brazos. And I put them in my arms. Y right. sabes qué? And you know what? Me dijo la niña. The, my daughter told me. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias, daddy. Thank you, daddy. Porque me estaba ahogando. Because I was drowning. Right. Hermano. Brother, tus hijos se están ahogando. Your children, Your children are, drowning. are drowning. Tu familia se está ahogando. Your family is drowning. drowning. ¿Quién los va a levantar? Who's What are you going to yes. Por eso este mensaje es para ti. That's why this message, message is, for, is you. for you. Este mensaje es para ti. This message is for, for you. you. ¿Quieres que te vaya bien en tu matrimonio y en tu hogar? Do you want everything to be good in your marriage and in your home? Saca al diablo de tu casa. Chase out the devil from your house. Right. And put in Christ. Right. Mete a Cristo en tu casa. Right. Put in Christ in your no home. Yeah. No solamente yeah. pongas yeah. muertos. See that right, right there? there? That's when folks get misbehaved. How many days have you been Dead. Uh -huh. See the horns sticking out of their heads. <laughs> He's able to reach down the muck in the mouth. He's able to turn things around. He's the same God that rose over the third day and told them, Oh, God, obey. Where's your victory? Oh, death, where's your stay? He got up out of the grave and the same God is able here today to bring you out of your power, to turn things around. You got to make up your mind today. I'm going with God. I'm right. coming out of this today. Right. Hallelujah. 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 You down because you want to be down. Right. You got to make up your mind. And in the pipe, and in that woman, right. and in that man, and in that bottle, and in on your job, the problem ain't the drug, the problem ain't the woman, the problem ain't the alcohol, the problem is you. You the problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. But you got to make up your mind. Enough is enough. It's been 20 years. Ain't had a drink. And had a smoke, right. and had a choke. Don't miss it, don't, don't need, need it. it. When right. I get in trouble, I go to my knees and cry to God to help me to get through the next prayer. Right. I cry to God because God has all power. He's a God that able to open the blind eyes. Because the light of the dumb the dumb the saint, the deaf to hear. He brings water in the wilderness and streams of the devil. He's yes. a God that's able to do anything if it landed not too hard for God. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Woo. You gotta make me your mind today. Which way you gonna go? That's right. I've been watching people walk by here today, smiling and laughing, like this is funny. But God's gonna get the last laugh. That's right. I say God's gonna get the last laugh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're gonna be laughing now. Huh? But when it comes that time, you must God. You be weeping and crying. But it's gonna be too late. But the day is the day. To get in line with God. The day is the day to say I'm giving it up. I'm coming out. I'm throwing it down. I'm coming to God. The day is the day. I'm giving it up today. I don't know where you are right now. But the frog and the scorpion were sitting at the lake. And the frog wanted to go. The scorpion wanted to go to the other side of the lake. So he came to the frog and said, Mr. Frog, would you please take me to the other side of the lake? He said, no, no, no. You're going to sting me. He said, I promise you I won't sting you. I don't know you can't trust the devil because you can't trust yourself either. So he said, Mr. Frog, would you please take me to the other side of the lake? He said, no, no, no. I promise you I won't stay. You can't trust the devil. I said, you can't trust the devil. He said, Mr. Frog, would you please, please take me to the other side of the lake? And the frog finally gave in. 
Because the devil will keep trying you and keep trying you and keep trying you until you give in. If you ain't got Jesus in your life, you're going to give in. Because sometimes I fail, sometimes I mess up, sometimes I blow up. But I get back to Jesus real quick. Hallelujah. So he said, Mr. Fogg, Mr. Scorpion, get on. And they were going across the lake. And the fog was going out for the third time. He said, Mr. Scorpion, you say you weren't going to stink. The scorpion told you, you know what I was before you let me get on. So quit blaming the devil. You know what it was before you got in it. You got in it, thought you could handle it. You couldn't handle it. Now you're trapped. Now you're stuck. But God is able to bring you out today. God's able to bring you out today. Lift your hands every way where you are. Lift your hands right where you are right now. Lift your hands right where you are right now. Hallelujah. And believe God, whatever it is you're dealing with, whatever you're going through right now, the delivering power of God, the healing power of God, the restoring power of God is falling right now. In the name of your Lord, send the rain, uh, uh, send the wind, uh, uh, send the fire of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of your Lord, break every chain, uh, break every shackle, break every addiction. Uh, oh God, whatever it may be, oh God, break it now. In the name of your Holy Ghost coming up and move by your power, move by your spirit. And Lord, we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Love you. I will not quit. That's what he blew into you. What he blew God into you. All right, all Hallelujah. Right. Change your change your conversation with yourself. Change your concept of yourself. Begin to see you like God saw you when he made you. Lord, we just want to thank you. We just want to thank you. Because you loved us so much until Lord you have protected us even from ourselves no until this very moment hallelujah we just want to glorify you thank you for the work that's done here that, uh, by Dr. Daltrey that, uh, and the disciples oh, on the wow, that's neat. may it grow greater that the word and the works of the Holy like the Spirit that's nice go with yes. you. And from this point on, God, don't let nobody rest. Don't let them have peace until they decide to surrender. Because eternity awaits us all. In Jesus' name, can I get somebody in this part to say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.